we've sat here and thought about what it is we should demonstrate for you for generalized imitation, and we haven't come up with it. So we figured we'd just do our own darn thing, and maybe you could imitate us. No, <laughs> that was bad. Anyway, um, so generalized imitation. Here what we have for generalized imitation is literally imitation that generalizes I know, circular argument, so just bear with me. So the idea is that if you re reinforce a kid, person, he, not other, other non-human animal, creature, whatever, um, for imitating, then it's possible that that organism will generalize its imitation and imitate other people, things, organisms, whatever, that it has not been reinforced for imitating. So, in the past, so for example, my daughter, Avery, she's about yay big, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I don't really care. Anyway, she's yay big. Um, so and she imitates her brother all the time. That's wonderful. Genuine imitation, which look at our videos for genuine imitation. So anyway, that's not generalized imitation by itself. That's just straight up imitation. But she will, because she's been reinforced for imitating her brother, imitate other people or oftentimes other animals. It's funny to watch her imitate dogs. But anyway, generalized imitation. You imitate things that you haven't been reinforced for imitating. Boom.